Guys, I'm testing far too few PC fans. I am all the more happy that I can now present my very first fans by the brand Noise Blocker to you. There is German quality behind this product and a lot of you apparently swear by it. Today I'm taking a look at the model NB E-Loop X B12P, so 120mm and obviously in white. For this specific fan model, you're spending about 25 to 30 US dollars per fan. We are definitely talking of more like high-end fans here. I'll be testing three of these, we'll be slapping these onto a 360mm radiator. At max fan speed, they might not surpass the existing other brilliant fan models out there by the competition, but once you reduce the speeds of all of the fans in question and make them spin at a fixed noise level of 40 decibels, today's NBE Loop X Turbo Rings deliver quite the surprising results. You'll see what I mean later into the video. So can today's fans be considered as one of the best out there? What are the strengths as well as weaknesses here and which settings are ideal? Package contents. In each of the small boxes, we get the fan, not one but two 4-pin PWM cables with different lengths of 20 and 50 centimeters, and same with the ARGB cables. I for one really like that we are being offered a little more flexibility in terms of cable length. I just find it to be a bit of a bummer that daisy chaining the ARGB connectors isn't made that easy since the fans just come with a single 3 pin 5 volt connector respectively. So we'll have to get our own splitter cable. Still I can't help but praise them for steering clear of any proprietary ARGB connectivity. Noteworthy is the fact that in order to mount these fans into cases for instance, we don't need to rely on the old school way of forcing screws into the plastic. Instead, we are getting threaded screws along with nuts. On top of that, there's also silicone grommets for both sides of the fan to help dampen vibration noise. Fantastic! That's how it should be done by all brands out there. These NBE Loop X fans, of course, aren't just to be had in white, but can also be picked up in a classic black version. The aesthetics, if those even play or should play a role here, aren't bad, even though that's a fully subjective thing. Nonetheless, Noise Blocker doesn't really tick all the boxes for my design language, so to speak. The build quality appears to be on a phenomenally high level. What I really like here are these fairly special and transparent fan plates. Be it with or without ARGB lighting, these things are appetizing in terms of looks. What's special about these fans is that they can spin at a minimum speed of just 400 RPM, making them great for semi-passive operation. Potentially a great choice for specific ultra-quiet air-cooled PC builds. At max, these fan blades go all the way up to 2000 RPM though, making them clearly audible. At max fan speed, these NBE Loop X definitely can be considered one of the louder fans I've had in my tests so far. Warn that shortly. Something I've personally admittedly never heard of before is the so-called magnetic levitation bearing that's at the core of these fans. What fascinates me way more though is the claimed static pressure here. These things by noise blocker therefore in theory should really kick some ass when put onto a radiator. But let's get to the interesting part and how I'm going to conduct testing today. As far as the test system is concerned, I'll be going with my AMD Ryzen 9 5950X 16 core CPU socketed onto the ASRock X570PG Velocita motherboard. Today's fans will be attached to my Be Quiet Pure Loop 360mm AIO liquid cooler. Now, what's the testing methodology? First of all, I'll read out and measure both temperatures and the noise level at max fan speed. Following that, we are getting to phase 2. We go for a fixed noise level value of exactly 40 decibels and then read out the max achieved temperatures both at idle and full load. That way we determine the fan performance at the exact identical decibel value. Now, in order to not cause any fluctuations or inconsistencies, I took measures within the BIOS to prevent any unwanted automatic CPU clock speed or voltage fluctuations. A single test run is 20 minutes each 
And the following are the results I managed to read out. Let's first discuss noise levels. While I don't have a whole lot of fan models in my charts yet, I can state that the noise blocker NB Eloop X B12P at a maximum of 57 decibels definitely counts to one of the loudest among the tested fans. At max fan speed, it's very audible. Most would consider it as too loud or annoying. The CPU will thank you, however. Be it in the Cinebench or the Toasty AIDA64 AVX stress test, the NB Eloop X managed to almost reach the very top of the list. They more or less do have to share the number one spot with the Be Quiet Lightwings, the high speed version. So the performance at the maximum of 2000 RPM is top notch, but the Lightwings high speed in the same identical test are significantly quieter at 52 decibels instead of 57. But how well do all these fans perform when having them at a fixed setting of 40 decibels? That's where these noise blocker fans apparently play out their strengths, since they still perform really well even at much lower RPM values. So these NBE loop axes not only manage to keep the Ryzen 9 CPU 1 degree Celsius cooler at full load than Be Quiet's Lightwings models, for instance, but also deliver phenomenal results with the CPU sitting idle. So at max RPM, these noise blocker models might not beat other brilliant fans by the competition. They're simply too loud. But if you appreciate a nice, quieter setting with reduced fan speeds, these noise blocker fans at 40 decibels deliver almost unbeatable results. I would go as far and say they take the number one spot in that aspect. However, please be aware that we are merely talking of just one, two degrees Celsius differences. Practically, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Nonetheless, I can without any doubt recommend these NBE Loop X fans. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Take care and see you in the next one.